um, I wouldn't give you the exact words now. I have, as a matter of fact, that you said that I'm going to put that in. I'm going to put that in the this current edition as it is written in the in the Uniform Commercial Code book. But it's actually broader than what they're saying, and essentially in its nature is preserving your rights. When you're making contract or you're dealing with them, it preserves all your rights as they are. Means that they can't have some small print or anything that's not stated clearly and hold you to some other obligation uh, contrary to what is presented in the original uh, presentment. And then at the same time, it preserves or it holds them to the law that governs contract, i.e. not being vague, having substance for substance, etc. So it is not just what it says, you must also understand the laws that govern contracts. And you put them together and it preserves your rights. So when they try to enforce things that are contrary to your birth rights, you can kick their keisters at law in a courtroom by being conscious of that and having signed any documents that you put there, just like say if you sign a license, etc., with the UCCs and you go into the courtroom with the, you know, and they start saying, you know, well, brother, it looks like here you've got, let me see, you've got this ticket for um, riding backwards on the street and this ticket for parking next to the doggy P zone. And then, so you just say, do you notice uh, in evidence uh, the signature on that license with the Uniform Commercial Codes, UCC? Now, I preserve all my rights. I don't waive any of my rights at any time. So therefore, a ticket is a suit, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, keep this in mind. A ticket is a suit. And write that down. Yes. And Brother, Brother Nature, Grand Sheik Nature is going to ask them to the UCC right now. Do that right now. You got another question? UCC. Yeah, Uniform Commercial Code. But what I want to add is because a brother called me this morning on that. Yeah, Islam, the brother called me this morning on the UCC code and he had a question about how can you get a book with all the UCC codes in it. And I was explaining to him the same thing Brother Todd said. You have to go to the library and start doing research on the UCC codes because it's a thousand UCC codes and they don't put them all in one book. You won't find one book with, them, with they all in it. They, they do have a UCC book with the majority of the codes in it because it costs twenty seven hundred dollars and that's what I was telling the brother earlier that's so that we won't be able to get it and we have no interest on in going to get it so that's something that you have to go on your own time and start researching but well, also with the 1-207 in reference to that that's article one of the UCC codes section 207 yes so just to show you how many it is, that's just Article 1, One section, section 207. 207. So that's how you research the UCC code. There's a lot of them. So you starting from Article 1, Section 1, and going up. Then Article 1, Section 2. Article 1, Section 3, all the way up. So there's a thousand of them. And there's a lot of other UCC codes that's beneficial to you. Yes. To, to using, far as when you're dealing with mailing, any type of improper venue. Yes. There's a lot of different UCC codes that you can, you can use to learn how to live within the contract. So you definitely need to research all of them, as many as you can. We don't know all of them. We'll never know all of them. And teach them to your children. But you get around active mores that's using them already, and they can refer you to the other ones that's necessary for you living within the contract, protecting the birthright. And again, uh, like Grand Sheik Nature was saying, and then over a period of time, as you all become conscious, and you keep notes, many of you will formulate books to help each other. You understand? And then get amongst the publishers amongst you to get this literature out to the people so that they can start exercising it. And when they get certain pieces of the concepts, they will begin to free themselves and it will lead them to other information. Islam, brother. Islam, um, where would be... Um a good place to learn uh, about contract law? Contract law? Get a book first on contract law. Go to the library, same thing. But conceptually, conceptually, you get around people who are dealing actively with constitutional law and you'll get the concepts. So I'm saying to brothers and sisters, when you start looking up Uniform Commercial Codes, get conscious 
on the laws that govern contracts. Get well versed in that. I.e., free mind, unencumbered, free will, mutuality, non vagity seal of the parties that claim to be a party to the matter. All these things are keys. Any one of them violated makes the contract neutral. So the contract of licenses and everything is fraud anyway. So it's a lot of, without even dealing with details of law, on the basis of law that govern contracts, you can beat them in court.